the following question reads that an alkane reacts with hot concentrated alkene sorry so alkenes are undergoing uh the reacting with hot concentrated acidified kmno4 potassium magnate 7 so strong oxidation of alkenes are happening and it's saying that it's uh strong oxidation happens to produce a single organic product such as uh the one that is shown over here so this is the molecule that is obtained and then they are asking what is the structure of the alkene now to figure out the structure you would have to uh, oxidize each one of these uh, molecules so we're going to try one by one and try and oxidize one uh, each one of the molecules now the rules for oxidizing alkenes or double bond strong oxidation is that the first thing you're going to do is that the double bond is going to completely break and there are going to be three different scenarios so let's discuss those scenarios so scenario number one is that if you had a carbon which was uh, making a double bond and it was bonded to two hydrogens then that carbon would change into carbon dioxide and a water molecule the other two scenarios are that if you had a double bond carbon making double bond and it was bonded on one side by a carbon chain and on the other side there was hydrogen then that particular carbon would change into a carboxylic acid the only ch change that's happening is with that carbon atom it would change into double bond o and oh the rest of the molecule remain exactly the same and then you had a third scenario which was that if you had a double bond carbon atom and on both sides uh, there were carbon chains attached to it there was no hydrogen so if on both sides there were carbon chains attached this particular carbon atom would change into a ketone it would change into double bond o and this is the product so you have these three scenarios and one by one we're going to use that to use this as a guideline to oxidize the products that are uh, oxidize the options that are given so here's my first option uh, this this is a skeletal formula this is the molecule and the double bond is over here the first thing that's going to happen is that the double bond is going to break and I'm going to focus on these two carbon atoms the ones nothing is going to happen with the rest of the molecule it's going to remain exactly the same the only thing that's happening is that this double bond over here is going to break and now I'm going to figure out what would happen to each of the carbon atom first remove the double bond so here you can see the double bond is gone now this carbon atom is bonded to two carbon chains on both sides this uh, if this is the scenario and compare it with the options that we had uh, if the carbon atom in the double bond was bonded to, to carbon chains on both sides it would change into a ketone so I'll make that I'll convert this molecule into a ketone it would change into double bond O and if the carbon atom this other carbon atom what would happen to that if this carbon atom is bonded to just one carbon chain if it's bonded to just one carbon chain then it's the second scenario carbon atom in the double bond that's bonded to one carbon chain this would change into a carboxylic acid so that is what I'm going to do I'm going to change that into carboxylic acid double bond O and OH so very carefully nothing would happen to the rest of the molecule the only changes that happened were, were with these two carbon atoms the ones that were making double bonds so let's now bring in uh, option B uh, again break the double bond first and then figure out what would happen to these two carbon atoms so let's remove the double bond so my double bond is gone over here this carbon atom is bonded to just one carbon chain so it's going to change into carboxylic acid it's going to change into double bond O and OH this carbon atom over here is bonded to two carbon chains so this would change into a ketone so it would change into double bond and O so that's my the product of oxidation of the second reaction let's bring in the third one option C so here's the option C let's get rid of the double bond break the double bond first and then focus on what would happen to these two carbon atoms so the double bond is gone uh, focus on this carbon atom just one side carbon chain so this would change into a carboxylic acid double bond O and OH whereas this carbon atom is bonded on both sides by carbon chains so it's going to be changing into a ketone it's going to oxidize into a ketone so that's the op that's uh, option C and let's quickly work with the last option double bond is going to break and you have these two carbon atoms this is only bonded on one side by a carbon chain so this would change into a carboxylic acid this one over here is bonded on two sides by a carbon chain it would change into a ketone so I have uh, figured out the oxidation product of all the four options and let's see what they wanted now they wanted this molecule over here they want they told us that this must be the product now I need to match which of these structures is exactly the same they've they've, they've only drawn differently otherwise 
one of the structures is going to be exactly matching this structure over here. So uh, I'm going to start off with this uh, thing. I mean, this molecule over here has one, two, three, four, and five carbon atoms in a row. And on the third carbon atom, there's a branch of another carbon atom. So four, five carbon atoms in a row. And let's number those carbon atoms. This, this is the number one. This is number two. This is number three. There's a branch on number three. Then you have four, five, and there's a carboxylic acid group on the sixth carbon atom. So I'm going to see which molecule is going to give me exactly the same, uh, the same structure. So let's start with the first one, first molecule over here. So I'm going to start uh, numbering, uh, numbering this uh, chain. So there's one carbon atom over here. So that's one. This is two. Then you have three. Then you have this fourth carbon atom. So there's a branch of the fourth carbon atom. Over here, the branch was on the third carbon atom. So the first option can't be correct. It's a different structure because uh, the first part was similar. One first carbon atom, then the second carbon atom had a double bond O. So second carbon atom had a double bond O. So that part was also correct. The third carbon atom had to have a branch. But over here, the third carbon had no branch. So the two structures are basically different. Let's focus on the second molecule over here. Uh, I'm going to start counting uh, from this side, cetyl bond O side over here. So this is carbon number one. Then you have carbon number two. The third carbon atom has a branch. So that part also matches. Then you have the fourth carbon atom and the fifth carbon atom. So over here you have the fourth and the fifth. And the sixth carbon atom must have a carboxylic acid group. So the sixth carbon atom over here does not have a carboxylic acid group. So that is going to be a different structure as well. Uh, let's now focus on this molecule over here. Uh, the first carbon atom, that matches. The second carbon atom has a double bond O. The third carbon atom must have a branch and there is no branch over here. Over here there is a branch on the third carbon atom, so that is not correct as well. So the only option left is the last option, option D. That, must, that would probably be the correct answer because if you look carefully, uh, you have this over here is the first carbon atom. The second carbon atom has double bond O. The third carbon atom has one carbon atom branch. Then you have the fourth and the fifth carbon atoms. And on the sixth carbon atom, there's a carboxylic acid group. So this structure is exactly the same as this structure over here. Uh, they've, just, they've just been drawn differently, but it's a bent or rotated or twisted version of the same molecule. One, two, three, four, five, six carbon atoms. One, two, three, four, five, and six carbon atoms. The sixth one has carboxylic acid. The second one has a ketone, double bond O, and there's a th branch on the third carbon atom over here. The branch is on the third carbon atom. So option D is going to be the correct option for this particular question. So let's go back, and the correct answer is going to be option D for this question.